what would be the value of having a photograph of Fluffy hugging your leg when you get home every day from work? It's priceless. <laughs> it's more than a photograph, is what we come to realize. My name is Adam Goldberg. My wife, Mary and I, own A Gold Photo Pet Photography Studio. We're not just trying to get a photograph. The conversation is not about, well, what's your favorite expression they give you? We're trying to help families celebrate that bond they have with their pet. We're spending a lot of time getting to know the pets and the families that we're photographing, and we're showing the bond that pet parents have with their pets. And it's made such a difference. Come on in. Insurance is something that I hope we never have to use, but it is nice peace of mind. I was familiar with Hiscox just through some of their advertising efforts on business-related podcasts that I listened to. Finding a, a familiar name that I trusted, it was a no-brainer and it was relatively affordable. So when a client has booked in with us and we've gotten to know them, they come to the studio, we lock all the doors, make sure it's secure, and then we let the owners unclip their leashes and their collars, and they just get to run around and sniff the studio. Good job. Good job, Daisy. After they've had time to get comfortable, we bring them into the studio area and we make sure they're not scared of the lights that we have. It's just a fun environment and there's no hurry, again, to get the photos taken. My love for animals came from working at an animal shelter. These rescue animals really just needed someone to tell their story. A lot of times people will have a negative stigma about rescue animals or shelter animals. The photography at the time was not doing these animals justice. And I didn't know anything about photography at that point. I took camera lessons, I watched videos online, and taught myself how to take photos of shelter animals. The shelter loved the photos so much that they said, hey, would you do a fundraising event? We had one fundraising event. This was back in July 2016, and it just took off. I started reaching out to shelters all over Florida. Mary, my wife, and I were traveling all over the country. We were raising money for different animal shelters and charities. Our whole life was based on travel. When the pandemic hit, we had to stop everything. We were pretty close to shutting the whole business down, but we really wanted to make pet photography our livelihood. Instead of traveling the country, we decided to open our own photo studio here in Tampa. If you're considering being an entrepreneur, find a niche that'll really set you apart. If it's a financial worry, you might want to look into getting a loan if you feel like you can afford that. We put away six months of livable income, so if something did happen, if this business failed, we would be able to live on what we saved up for six months. I was only doing adoption photos at our local animal shelter. It went from Tampa to traveling all over the country. Now we have our own pet photo studio. We have our own actual building, which is amazing. That's so cute.